got this, Marcus. You got this. You gotta put in the work. Are you ready? Are you ready to do this? Come on, bro. This is big lift time. Come on, come on, come on. What's up everybody? Volume 2 of the Olympia Prep Transformation video series. I'm psyched to get to this today. This couple weeks has been phenomenal. I'm filming this right now at the end of it. I can't wait to show you guys how much I transformed in the last two weeks. I'm going to show you guys if we went like this with the diet a little bit, up the cardio a little bit, got way more of my team involved, so I'm excited to introduce you to a whole bunch of new people. We're going to be talking this week about accountability, having your accountability team with you, your own accountability. We got so many other... What else are we talking about? <laughs> dedication. No, but do we talk about it? We'll be going into dedication. I love that. Dedication is such a critical, critical component of getting real results. Motivation is one thing. Dedication is a very different thing. Dedication is what's going to get you up early consistently. So here we are, the next two weeks. We're down to six weeks by the end of this video. And uh, these next couple weeks are going to be insane. Okay, we're eight weeks out. I'm feeling phenomenal right now. This is still so early in the process that you should still feel fired up. You should still be looking forward to your workout. You should still be loving the challenges that you're putting your body through. I haven't added any new supplements this week, but next week I'm getting pretty excited. I'm gonna be back on stims, and I suspect most of my videos will look like that. We're gonna have fun with heat and some afterburner, two killer burners that I always use for tightening up. And uh, calories dropped this week. Nothing too significant, I'll put them here on the screen. Yeah, I'm just feeling so amazing. And this, this week, you've gotta start really making sure everything is in place for you to carry on. The two weeks coming up are possibly gonna be your most challenging. Well, they will be your most challenging to date. So you're gonna need all those systems in place, your accountability team. You gotta start just loving watching them work out, watching them get results so that you feel inspired to do it yourself. If you need that motivation, you come to me. I'm here to help you with that as well. And uh, Rick, let's just keep the sweat going. So psyched for this week. This is the week we start subs. We start afterburner and I'm gonna start mimic. I'm telling you mimic is what you're gonna start seeing some crazy vascularity on me. Every single video it's gonna get deeper and deeper. Plus, I'm just in that spot. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling hungry. I'm feeling like I'm burning. I'm feeling like I'm getting tighter. I feel like I'm seeing new lines every day. This is where it starts to get really good. So if you've been doing it right, this is when you're gonna to start to feel those same things. You gotta watch for those things. They're not gonna knock you over the head. You're not gonna know for certain, but you gotta start reading your body. You gotta start listening. That little bit of hunger, that's a great thing. That's your metabolism getting fired up. Are you warmer than normally? Do you find yourself saying, Rick, are you warm? And everybody else is saying they're cold? That's a good thing. Let's not slow that down. Don't squash that with a fast food burger. This is the time to double down Getting deep. Well, hello, Marcus. This is Heidi. Boom, boom, cannon. Just smashed out my leg workout today. It was unreal. I got three weeks till WBFF Worlds and then seven weeks until Olympia, which I'm gonna continue just to keep getting more shredded and more shredded. So I am so excited to push you through this journey because my friend, you're gonna have your work cut out for you. What up, Marcus? This is Mikey here in Oklahoma City. Man. I had an extremely crazy busy day. Um, I moved today, probably took me six, seven hours. One thing I did not want to do today, I didn't want to work out. And I just, I just wasn't feeling it today, you know? Um, so I sat on my couch and I just decided I wasn't going to go. And then I started looking through Instagram, so all, of the, all the other Magnum athletes um, that were working out today, killing it, going all this. And I said, all right, no. And I just left the gym, killed it. And I felt freaking amazing because I had a fire lit under me. Marcus, my friend. Uh, got in my morning leg day, uh, just about to go mow the lawn, and then I'm heading back to the gym a little later to uh, get my cardio in. Hope you have an amazing day, and uh, it's game on, brother. Let's get it. Okay, you might have noticed I'm a little higher energy today. JJ, my brilliant coach, has got me on a high-carb week. We've lowered the protein a bit, increased the carbs, 
and I'm just freaking feeling full. I feel amazing. I feel full of life and I'm still stimulant free. Stimulants kick in next week, which I'm psyched about. Just changed it. Less protein, more carbs. Uh, my suspicion is I'm not gonna drop either any weight or maybe a pound this week and that's okay. I'm following the process and if I had to guess, he's doing this to test to see how my body looks. Because my suspicion is this is exactly what we're gonna do the week of the shoot. We're gonna just start lightly filling out those glycogen stores in my body. I've got great energy, I've got great mental focus. This is a great week. I wanna to talk to you today about internal versus external accountability. This is the difference between external, where I've got this accountability team pushing me every single day, and internal. This is my accountability to myself. I hope you guys are loving the accountability team that I've introduced you to. And you're seeing new faces on this video. You're gonna keep seeing more and more faces because now that they've seen how awesome this accountability crew is, more people want in and I love that. I want more people watching me, pushing me. And have you noticed, this is all positive. This is not negative. This is not, ah, oh, tiny arms, how you doing this week? Ah, uh, Marcus, you're looking fat, forget that. Anybody who's doing that to you, get them out of your life. This is just building each other up. I'm not competing against any of those people. I'm competing against myself. I'm gonna show you photos of the guy I need to beat. This is the guy. This is the guy who I'm staring at going, I gotta beat this guy. There's the difference between internal versus external accountability. I've got my crew, I've got my external, I got my, my crew around me pushing me hard, giving me messages, driving me every day. And I'm doing the same for them and I hope they feel that. But internally, I'm doing it for myself. Not only do I have to beat myself, but this is, this is for my internal reasons. You have to have a big why inside of you. Why are you doing this? If you don't have that why, you're gonna quit so quickly. This is not an easy road. This is tough stuff. To transform your body takes real work, real dedication. You gotta keep it going. Your why has to be huge. trying to achieve something amazing. I'm trying to be the best version of myself, the healthiest version of myself, and I want it to ooze out of me. I want people to see that just by a photo. They go, wow, this guy is healthy. This guy looks amazing. I can learn from this guy. 